All right, there we go. I set you guys up properly on the way to the gym. We're hung up right here, so hopefully this isn't too, too bad. Um, I feel like that's gonna be, that's gonna be, hold on, give me a second with this audio. Sorry if that's a little bit irritating. I'll clip you guys right here for now. There we go. So we are in Ohio. As you can tell, I am all cleaned up in terms of the hair department. Um, oh shit, we gotta um, we gotta slam the pre. Okay, so we are actually a little bit lagged out on these videos. Um, I didn't record the last uh, two days, two, last two or three days I didn't record because I was driving <laughs> from uh, Florida to Ohio, so I left on Friday morning, drove from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m., <laughs> literally 12 hours on Friday, woke up on Saturday, felt like shit, like literally horrible, um, I'm going to cut straight here, oh shit, um, anyways, uh, felt horrible on Saturday, didn't even train at all. Went like got to the hotel. Or sorry, Friday night got to the hotel around five. Felt like horrible. Just went to bed. Lived just laid in the hotel room the whole night. I just felt so sick. I was congested. I have a little bit of stuff you know still, uh, but horrible headache. Lower back was sore. And leaving Florida was obviously a, a, you know a sad thing. Then uh, Saturday, got up, left around ten. Got to Ohio um, around whatever fucking time, evening time, six maybe. Um, yeah, six or seven. And then, uh, yeah, trained on yesterday. I was a push day. So yesterday was, yesterday was day one. Yeah. Yesterday was Monday. So yesterday was uh, day one of actually my five week, my five week, five a week program. So, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff, whatever, but we're going to the gym now. Today's a pull day. So I probably won't record. I don't know. This is like my the gym that like I grew up going to, I went to the high school gym. Like when I, when I stepped, I got to slam the pre, hold on. I'm fucking just bullshitting. It's way too much fucking water. Oh damn, you're fucking 10 ounces. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. I hate like, just uh, this is the hard part you don't want to be the person who doesn't drink enough water throughout the day that you have to like chug your water right before the gym you want like a slow constant hydration you know so I drink like I said I'm trying I drink about three of these a day my nutritionist really wants me to drink three of these a day because it's a gallon um 10,000 steps minimum per day we're not focused on necessarily distance or time but more just the steps so 10,000 steps um you know, is, is the goal right now for the first week, 10,000 steps a day, which is no problem for me. I did like 12,000 yesterday. Um, so yeah, 10,000 steps a day. My macros right now are starting at 2000 calories per day. Um, 175 grams of protein, 175 grams of carbs. And I think it's 67 grams of fat. And then like my sugars and my micros are, are I don't have those memorized right now, but I have my fitness pal premium. So everything's tracking in there. Oh, but I'm feeling good. I'm already feeling like really tight and feeling good and feeling energized. Um, but the reason I mentioned the water thing is you guys don't want to like chug water like, oh, I'm about to be at the gym and just start down in water because you're going to feel bloated and you start to feel a little bit lethargic when you feel bloated. Um, so you want to really make sure um, that you're just being constantly hydrated, right? When you wake up in the morning, try to drink like you know, one before, one of these, not one of these, just whatever you guys drink, try to drink, you know, your, let's just say you break your water, you have a, a 40 ounce container, try to drink like one before like 10 a.m., you know, one in the afternoon and then like one, you know, before dinner's over or something. Like maybe have like your first one before noon, your second one before dinner and then your third one but drink before bed. So you have a constant hydration throughout the whole day. So one of the keys to right now is I'm having four meals a day to get to my macros and my calories. And um, the biggest reason for that is to regulate my blood sugar levels to keep it good, healthy throughout the whole day, keep it regulated. And that guy fucking looked at me really weird. Um, I'm back in Ohio now, so like I have a, a significantly higher chance now 
of running the people that I know, which is really like a thing I've tried to get away from. You know, when my, uh, you know, when I met with my, you know, my girlfriend, whatever, um, you know, we both grew up in this city. We met, didn't go to the same school, but we met. And then like a few months after we met, we moved downtown to Cleveland and like we wanted to create a different lifestyle for ourselves, a different environment. So we kind of took that route to like sort of get away from, you know, what we knew. And then we spent four years in Cleveland and kind of, it was much more rare to run into somebody, you know, there, but it did happen occasionally. And then spending, you know, two and a half years in Florida, we definitely didn't run into people we know. So you guys are going to see me running into more people that I know here. There's a much higher chance of people actually talking to me mid set when I'm trying to fucking record my, let's just say my low rows or my low cable rows or whatever. You know, I don't really wear headphones much anymore um, to the gym. Oh, my calves tangling. The beta alanine's kicking in. Um, but yeah, this is a gym where it's like okay to record at, but still, like I don't want like my first like time being back. And this is my, not my first time being back here, but I don't want somebody's first time seeing me back here in this gym to be like I'm recording my fucking incline dumbbell bench, and they're like, "What the fuck?" But uh, kind of like pretty girl privilege. I might have mentioned this in one of my previous videos. I'll talk about the lift here in a second, but uh, one of my previous videos I talked about like how pretty girls, you know, you have pretty girl privilege. Girls that are pretty can do shit. That might be annoying, but, like, they can get away with it because they're pretty. It's, like, kind of like in the gym, you have, like, big guy privilege. Like, you can, if you're big enough, like, you get to, like, a, let's just say 200 pounds and above, you can pretty much do whatever you want in the gym and no one's going to give a fuck. So, I'm about 40 pounds above that. So, and when you're throwing around decent weight, you know, people respect it if you're not fucking around being a jackass. But today, back in, it's a pole day. So, uh, obviously, back biceps and rear delts so some people say oh well shouldn't your delts any part of your delt be on your push day well no because you can't activate your rear delt by pushing you only can activate it by pulling so i like to break it up um, plus it doesn't it doesn't coincide with like any of my pressing movements a and b it doesn't like take away from the following lift so tomorrow's legs like let's say that today was a pull day and tomorrow was a push day me having sore rear delts isn't going to take away from my ability to press heavy weight. So um, you guys definitely want to, you know, kind of stack your, or not stack, but, you know, I got people looking at me. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, I'm not going to record when I get in there. But um, we'll talk about the lift afterwards just so I can throw something up. And I'm going to get another membership at Planet Fitness and another one at this other gym called Anytime Fitness. And then the gym I'm at now is called UXL. So I can kind of rotate between those three um, and, like, look at the different crowds and shit. But... Um, we're going to start off with probably, I want to get, uh, I don't know, either, well, I'll have to see you, I'll, I'll talk about it when I get out of the gym. It's going to be a pull day with some good rear delt focus, so we'll talk about the lift afterwards. Wow. So, I will tell you guys, obviously, I didn't record any lifts. Uh, well, that's probably not the best spot. Let me fucking move this little. Right now, I'm just trying to clip it wherever it fucking. Actually, you know what? Sorry for the the noise. There we go. Put you guys on this side. Get my freaking seatbelt all situated. Whew. Um. Come on, fucking. I don't know who that guy was. It looked like a homeless version of Logan. Paul, um, my hair's fucking wow, dude. That was uh. Anyways, that lift. Um, as you can tell, I'm just oh my gosh, my. This is probably. Arguably one of the best uh, pumps I've ever had, uh, especially in like the lat. I mean the whole everything, the pump, the back, and the, the rear delts. Man, I absolutely uh, obliterated. Oh shit. Um, so we're at a Chipotle, we're at there right now, um, but yeah, so today, uh, one of the best pumps I've ever had, and my buddy made a good point, um, he was the one that you guys saw in the cuckmobile next to me, that, that black Civic, um, <laughs> anyways, um, no, I'm joking, but he made a, a good point, uh, so as part of my, my nutritionist, my, my five-week plan, I'm eating a lot more earlier in the day than I ever really have, like, in the probably the past, like, I would say five or six years. 
Um, some of you guys might relate. I'm just not really like a big breakfast guy. Just not my thing. I've always been the hustler, like going out there and working and grinding and sales and this, that, and the third. So I'd wake up and, you know, one of my very first mentors, his name was Oleg Novitsky. Um, this was like, like seven or eight years ago now. Um, right? Like, yeah, probably seven years ago, eight years ago, like within the first year, start my, one of my businesses, doesn't matter. But he always said coffee's for closers. So I always just, you know, I fell in love with coffee in the morning and I love the flavor of coffee and I'm a big coffee fanatic, whatever. So, and we also know caffeine is a natural um, uh, appetite suppressant. So it kind of makes you not as hungry, I guess you could say. Now, if you overdo the caffeine, you can start to get cramps because caffeine also dehydrates you. So it pulls blood from the muscle. So it can be, um, you know, it, it can dehydrate you basically. So if you're on an empty stomach, just pounding, you know, six cups of coffee in the morning. Okay, that's not that's not the way to lose weight, but um, it does it does help in some regard. So um, for me, I just never ate in the morning, right? So because of that, one of my problems was I would always find myself binging at night, right? So I'd be good all day. My cardio would be good. I'd be drinking my water, getting my stuff together. And a lot of you guys can hopefully relate to this and maybe find some benefit from it. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to share everything with everything that I learned from my nutritionist with you guys. Um, you know, a lot of the stuff, like when it comes to the diet and the training and the supplement, all that sorts of stuff, a lot of that stuff I already, you know, was doing, I already know, you know, I have a decent amount of knowledge in, in this industry, but it was the accountability that I was looking for with hiring a diet coach. You know, there's some things that, you know, we all know those people out there, whether they're your friends or people you went to school with or people at your job or whatever, with people that are like, oh, I know everything. I'm the best at everything. And it's like, and then when you look at them, you're like, I could name like 10 things that you literally suck at, <laughs> you know? So it's like, I, I, I always want to be, you know, humble enough. You know, I, I feel like I'm blessed with, with, you know, having an intelligent mind and that humble desire to seek more. Um, but I never want to be like, man, I know so much about so much, you know, I know everything, I know everything, right? Because, you know, that's just a recipe for disaster. So I'm trying my best just to really like put my own opinions and like what I would typically do, like on the back burner, you feel me? So um, because obviously I know what to do to lose weight and to get big and to get strong and to train properly in these things. Oh, fuck. Boo. You guys just went for an absolute evangelistic. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, <laughs> you guys, if you guys can see my setup, you know why I'm laughing because you guys basically, my whole tripod was fucking crooked. Anyways, um, yeah, anyways, back to seriousness. Um, what was I saying? I don't, I don't remember what the fuck I was saying now. Whatever. I guess the, the point that I was trying to make was I, I have a lot of experience in diet and training, how the body works, anatomy, all those sorts of things. Um, you guys have heard a lot of my rants on here and how I get a little bit nerded out when I start talking about things. But the accountability from like a professional diet coach who's done it for 20 plus years, two decades, you know, pretty much longer than I've been alive, you know, to think that I just, oh, I know more than him is, is insane, you know, kind of like what we talked about, like in my first or second video where I said, just because you do something for a living by no means gives you the credibility of being an expert, right? Because when I started my first business, you know, eight years ago or whatever, I did it for a living, but I didn't know fucking shit. <laughs> I knew nothing about it. It wasn't until I had quantifiable experience over long periods of time right? Like you can't just have a good year in bodybuilding. You have to have a good year and another good year. And you can't just have a good workout on a Monday. You have to have a good workout on Monday and on Tuesday, maybe an okay workout Wednesday and then a pretty good workout Thursday and then a great workout Friday. You can't just have a good day of eating. You have to have every, you know what I'm saying? So like it needs to be consistency. So um, instead of trying to do too much, try to do just enough. And then once you start to work on the mind, that starts to help, uh, or sorry, work on your, your body, your physical body. It starts to work on your mind, and then your mind starts to work on your spirit, and then it starts to be this this, this crashing wave of positivity. Um, Andy Elliott actually talked about this a lot, where he's like, if you focus on your physical body, you're going to improve your mental state. And if you once you start improving your mental state, you can improve your spiritual state, and then your financial state, and then all that stuff plays along. Um, but really starting with giving back and volunteering and helping is always great too, but um, and that you should always do those things. And I'm working on that myself, I'm trying to do one more volunteer thing per month. Um, but when it comes to the gym, we have to be consistent, right? So, um, this wasn't the, probably the most entertaining video cause I didn't record any of the lifts. Although 
like four or five times I was getting such a big pump and I was moving so much weight. I'm like, man, I should just go out and grab it, but I don't want to lose the pump. So yeah, that was really a good workout. I started off with, um, I did 11 sets of back. So I did, um, five sets of heavy pull downs overhand, right? So double overhand, moderate grip, I'll say neutral grip too wide. You start to engage a little more of the shoulders and too close. You start to get more of the bicep and start to kind of pinch your shoulders and you don't want to round them off. You kind of want your chest to be up and you want to be, you know, like Arnold Schwarzenegger says, you want to get big, you know, you want to, you want to flex in front of the big guys. Like you don't want to be tucked away like this. Um, oh, I'm sorry about your penis. Um, but anyways, yeah, so double overhand and I was pulling some really, really heavy weight, but I'm mad because I forgot my straps again. The move kind of threw me off, um, but I did forget my straps again. But anyways, um, yeah, double overhand, really focused on just squeezing the lats, did five sets of that. I wouldn't say that that gave me the best pump because I was just trying to move as heavy weight, as much weight as I could, right? Those first three to five sets is when you're the most fresh and you can pull the most weight, the most tension on the muscle, the most progressive overload via heavy weight while still getting, you know, relatively moderate good form. Um, but I'm, I'm okay on maybe getting some lackadaisical partials in those first few sets just to try to get as much time under tension with some heavy weight and really stress out the muscle. Um, and then after that, I went on to straight arm pull downs, which is where you, you know, straight arm pull downns. You guys know what that is. And I really just focused on the squeeze. I think I did four sets there. <clears throat> I want to say like 10 to 15 ish reps. And the last set, I burnt out as much as I could. Um, I'm not really a big fan of doing like a four by 10 or like a three by 12 or whatever, because if you do, let's say four sets of 10 with whatever weight that you're doing, let's just say incline barbell bench. I always do barbell bench. Let's do like, let's just say you're doing, um, like whatever shoulder press. If you do four sets of 10 on dumbbell shoulder press, if you're getting 10 on your first set <coughs> and 10 on your last set, then you probably should have gone heavier on your first set or done more reps right? You should progressively, it should get progressively harder. So your performance should slowly decline as your workout progresses, right? Your, your sets, your reps, your intensity should always be high, but you know, your, um, your ability to hold and control more weight should slowly, slowly diminish the more your workout progresses because you're fatiguing your muscles and you're pre-exhausting the fuck out of them, right? If you go to your last set, your last working set of the day, and you're just as strong as you were on your first set, you're just not training hard enough. As simple as that. So um, I really focused on the squeeze there. Uh, and then I finished off back with low cable rows, but I used, I used the seated cable machine and I went pretty heavy. <clears throat> I don't know if I used the whole stack. I think I was pretty fatigued at that point. So I never, I didn't get quite get to the full stack, but I was pulling pretty heavy weight. But what I like to do when I'm doing the seated cable rows, a little fun tip you guys can try. I showed one of my buddies this actually a few months ago, um, which is instead of getting like one straight bar to pull or like the V bar to pull, I get, or like just a single hand, you know, pulley or, uh, you know, the single hand with a little clip, I get two single, you know, two individual hand clips. So they're like, you know, two of them, both of them with their own separate rings, but I put it on the same hook. So I have a little more independence and I can really kind of pull it back to past the plane because if you have a bar the bar is going to eventually hit your sternum you're going to only be able to go this far but you're not getting this whole portion of the movement you know the last let's say the bottom 15 percent of the movement you're not able to get because your fucking chest is in the way and your sternum and your freaking rib cage right so using those those two hand grips like especially the ones with like the longer um uh material on there um, you're able to pull and squeeze and then squeeze past the plane of your body, not to the point where you're jeopardizing the health of your shoulders, but you're able to really squeeze and contract the, the, the upper back, the lats, the rhomboids, um, and, and so forth. So that was how I finished off back. And I'm telling you guys, it was one of the best back pumps I've ever had because I've been eating more throughout the day. So if you guys want, don't like wait, save all your meals till the end of the day, eat, you know, steady pace. It's regulate your blood sugar and keep it pretty level and your metabolism pretty level and your energy pretty level. You know, regulate, I'm at Chipotle now, um, regulate those meals. So I have four meals a day that my, my nutritionist has me on. So my first meal, um, well, my first calorie intake of the day is my coffee in the morning, but we're tracking that, but we're not counting the calorie or sorry, 
I'm counting the calories and tracking everything, but I'm not counting that as a meal. So my first meal is my uh, protein shake in the morning. I have protein shake and fruit is like my breakfast. Then my second meal, um, I'm, right? No, no, no. My first meal was four eggs, four whole eggs. That was it, just literally straight eggs with pepper. Then, um, right? Yeah, my first meal of the day was a protein shake um, with an apple. My second meal was four eggs. My third meal is my post-workout meal now, which is about 5.49 p.m. I'm about to go hit uh, or get a double chicken bowl. Once, you know, only one serving of rice and then no tortilla. And then my last meal will be tonight around like 8 to 10 p.m. And I'll have like a, you know, I'll see where my calories are at and where my macros are at at the time. But um, by eating, you know, more throughout the day, like er, my first two, I would never eat before a workout. I was always going faster to the gym. And because of that, you, you can only get so good of a pump and only train so intense. So by having my protein shake, some fruit in the morning, and then going and having my four eggs, and then I had my pre before the gym. It was just a, it was a great, great workout. I felt so much more full. Um, I wasn't overeating to the point of being lethargic while I was training. So don't overeat. Don't eat like a big scoop of rice and a cheeseburger right before the gym. You know, if you're going to have that shit, I would advise against it unless you're in a, in a bodybuilding context. If you're bulking, then okay, that's different. But I would give yourself at least like 60 minutes before the gym. Like if you're going to have like fries and shit, like all those bad foods because you're on a bulk, Again, in a bodybuilding context or in a muscle building, you're trying to get bigger, increase body fat, whatever, to put on more muscle. I would eat within 60 minutes to go to the gym. So if you're going to train at four, make sure your, your last, you know, your food's all in and, and you, you've eaten everything by three. Um, but also don't like do what I was doing unless it works for you. Like I was eating nothing when I was training around 12, I was, you know, training around lunchtime. Um, I just wasn't really optimizing my workouts. So, um, then we went on to biceps. I did uh, a, a few sets of, of heavy straight bar cable curls. Went over, did some isolation preachers with a dumbbell to really just focus on the full stretch and the full squeeze. Um, then I did some seated dumbbell curls uh, where I, you know, you start at the bottom and as you go up, you supinate and then you really squeeze. And I, I was emphasizing a slight lean to get the most stretch, squeeze as much blood in the muscles as I could, slow, slow on the way down. And I'm like, 11 or 12 reps in, I was just screaming. So I did two or three sets of that. And then I finished off with, um, I think just more standing dumbbell curls, to be honest. And then I forgot about my rear delts. I went and blasted rear delts. I did eight or nine sets or 10 sets or working sets of, of rear delts. And that was probably the most, again, pumped my rear delts have ever been. When I did a pump check in the mirror, this was like the one time I'm like, fuck, I should have brought the camera because my back looked insane. Like my rear delts, my rhomboids were just inflamed with blood, um, you know, like a cosmic pump, like just out of this world. It was crazy. So yeah, then I went and did some, you know, did some tanning. Then I drank a shit ton of water, refilled this. Now we're getting the post-workout meal. So I'm going to cut this off here. Uh, tomorrow is legs. So I'll probably get some of that on film and I will see you guys uh, in the next one.